Sometimes a guy might say to himself, you know what? I want choice with women. I want choice with women, but at the same time, I just feel like I can't get that. What's the reason? You find yourself in a situation where you see women everywhere. You notice. And as you notice, it brings to your attention over and over and over again that you don't have the choice that you want. But the great thing is this, any man who does have choice, he made a choice to have choice. This is what I want you guys to understand, is that when you feel like in your life that you don't have the abundance that you want, that you're not getting the women that you want into your life, I want you to understand that there needs to be a switch and what choice means. What choice really means, honestly, is being able to choose from the array of women that are in the world and to have them come into your life in some way. You notice that you have this, this fantasy that I want to have so many women in my life. I want to be at the point where I don't have to struggle with having the choice that I want. But at the same time, you're not willing to have and step into the power that needs for this to be possible. That is the difference. It's are you willing to make the choice to have choice? And what that means underneath the surface is, are you willing to step into the power of what it means to be an attractive man to make that happen? Choice is, and any man knows this who does have it, is making the decision that he will have abundance in his life. That the women that he sees out in the world is a mystery. And the moment he sees it as a mystery, it starts to come to reality that there's so much more that's out there. You're obviously waiting for someone. Sorry? I say you're obviously waiting for someone. Uh, no, I'm just resting and sunbathing. Sunbathing? Yeah. Oh, it's the one thing that I don't like in my whole life no. is sitting in the sun. Why? Because the shade feels so much better to me. Oh, you do already. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm I so. Have to tie you. I'm so glad you told me. That makes a difference. Uh, I am Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Is this strange to you? Does this feel strange to you? Yeah, not to me. Not so much. <laughs> but now I have to go. I'm going to meet with my friend. Um, really quick, I have to interrupt you because I like you. Yeah. Before you just turn away, like you've just done, uh, this is because you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. Now I can walk away. Okay. I see. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> I just wanted to take a break to let you guys see that I'm going from girl to girl to girl, and every single girl has told me so far that they have a boyfriend. But guess what? The fact that I still know that I have choice, I can continue. But imagine if I thought that those were the only girls that I had to choose from. or those girls signify to me how much choice I have, then I will completely give up. But the fact that I know that innately I have an abundance to choose from, because guess what? If you look around, there's so many different types of girls. So guess what? It's not over, I guess, I would say. Are you waiting for a special someone? No. Huh? No. Uh, because I seen you sitting here, I'm like, her friend is a tree. Yeah, no, I came here on my own. So oh. I, don't really, I don't know anyone. Okay, well, this is one person who thinks you look attractive that wants to say hello to you. Oh, thanks. Hi. My name is Anthony. I'm Kate. Kate? Yeah. And you're from London? No, just 
just England. Ah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. How are you? Okay, you travel alone, but you're a horrible traveler. A what? You're a horrible traveler. You a travel what? alone, but you're a horrible traveler. You like go to the country, don't know any other language, didn't learn thank you or hello. No, no, I was planning on it. And you didn't. You're like, I'll, I'll just drink a yeah, beer and not understand any of the language. Yeah, because I think that's the best way to meet people, don't you think? Is to just go out. And say or hello. I could, sit, I could sit in my room and like, try and teach myself something that I'm probably not going to pick up that well anyway. I'll probably forget by the time that I leave my hotel. Yeah. Well, you can learn thank you and hello. Okay, I did try, but it's, it's difficult to pronounce. How do you say hello? See ya. Huh? Easy going. I guess that's the easy way to say it. You're like easy going, but at the same time, you're not naive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's true. Yeah. yeah. So who, were you here with someone? Well, since you're just hanging out, would you like to go for a walk? Right. Do, you know, do you know what I got to drink? I want another beer. <laughs> at this bar, what are you talking about? You got a bar is asking, do you know what to get a drink? Yeah, do you want to get a drink? I, I don't drink beer. You don't drink beer? Yeah, no. I'm sure they sell other drinks. Yeah. I remember in the beginning when I was starting out and I had this, so to speak, goal. Or I had this intention that I wanted to have choice of women. I wanted to have choice because at that moment, I didn't have it. I was looking to myself and going, what do I really want? I want beautiful women in my life. I want to have an abundance of beautiful women, but at the same time, it seems so far away. And the fact that it seems so far away, how am I going to get this? And especially, how am I going to get this in the time that I want to get this? This is the main thing that guys struggle with in the beginning, is timing. They go, you know what, I want choice, but at the same time, I want it now. They're not willing to walk through, like I was, I was so impatient. I wasn't willing to walk through what it needed for this to become true, for this to be a part of my life. For, for my life to be very different, I need to have a different thread of actions, a different thread of thinking, and followed by that different thread, I knew that success would follow. But I didn't want to hear that though. I didn't want to hear that. All I wanted in that moment was the choice that I wanted. I want to have beautiful women in my life. I want to be a man who can go out there any time of the day, uh, whatever day of the week it is, whether it be on the weekends, during the week, and be able to bring beautiful women in my life. This was my thing. And the fact that it was my thing, I set out with that. And as I set out with this intention, I started to become impatient. I started to go, you know what? It's not happening at the time I want it to happen. And I just felt depleted many of the times. I felt like, why is it that everybody else is getting this so fast, but I'm getting it slow? And when I started to let go of the timing, something else magical started to happen. I started to see how much this is really going to take for me to have choice. It wasn't just a matter of me going out there and doing a little bit, but it was going out there and consistently doing what I needed to do to get that which I wanted, which was choice in my life. I had to let go of the timing. I had to let go of all the times that I felt that I wanted it to happen and I just had it to focus on putting in the effort that I need to. I had to make the choice that I wasn't going to be like every other person that I felt that was in my position. Being in a rush and feeling like, fuck, I want it now. I don't have women in my life, I want it now. This, 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 this pushing that I was doing to myself. And it was making me feel bad because anytime that you're pushing yourself, you're being hard on yourself. And any journey is gonna be way more difficult than 
the journey should actually be. But of course, in the beginning, I wasn't trying to hear that, and many of you guys may be in that place. If I tell you that you have to go out there and you have to consistently work at this, that you have to talk to many different types of women, that you have to make the choice that you're gonna actually allow choice into your life by going out there and being able to do the necessary things for that to happen, you will be like, that is insane. Why do you want me to do so much when right now I'm in pain and the only way out of pain is for me to get a woman or for me to get many different women in my life? I'm here to tell you, man, that yeah, maybe you don't want that, but it is the only way through. It is absolutely the only way through. And when I came to this and I made the choice that I was going to allow this choice to be a thing, allow myself to have abundance with women, then things started to roll in. So I go from a position of feeling like I have no choice and no power and no power to, to, to change this to a position of power. And that, that is what actually guys are afraid of. They're afraid of the own power that they have. They're afraid of the power that they are. And the moment a guy starts to step into his power, which means step into himself, he starts to know that he always had choice. It was just his mind that made him believe that he didn't. So for you, what does that mean? That means that to have choice with women, you must make the choice that you want that. You must make the, also the choice that you absolutely are willing to put in the necessary effort. You have to make the choice that you're willing to be more of yourself than anything. Because the more that you become more of yourself, the more that you allow yourself to step away from powerlessness, which is a position of I can't do anything, or a position of why is this happening and I can't change this. When you take a step from that, you start to see the realisticness of life. You start to see the realism. In the beginning, everybody has this idea that they're gonna come into the community and things are just gonna unfold for them. They're gonna come into the community and they're gonna do a few amount of approaches and eventually, at some point, through those few amount of approaches, they'll have abundance. And it never happens this way. Never does it happen this way because you don't know yourself in the beginning. You are not any much closer to yourself than you were when you started thinking about it. But when you go through the actual process, when you go through, the, when you make the actual choice that you want this life, your, this part of your life to change, things start to unfold. Unfold in the way that you want it to unfold though. But until you make the choice that you want this part of your life to change, it will never unfold. Which means that you will never unfold. That's really what it is. It's not this thing of like, I gotta go out there and I have to become this amazing dude, I have to become my best self. No, it's becoming more of yourself. And as you become more of yourself, what you notice is these start to unfold in the way that it needs to. In the beginning, you're so disconnected from who you are. That's why you have these fantasies. That's why you have these intentions that many of the time want to be achieved with a little effort. That's why you have this. And it seems so far away because you start to notice that it's not like this. When I actually make the choice to have choice in my life with women, then I must walk through what that actually means. I must walk through that journey. I must walk through what it means to be a man who is struggling. I must walk through the journey of what it means to be a man who doesn't know, who gets flaked on. This is a part of a man's journey who has choice because the moment you start getting choice, you start to notice that not every woman wants me. You start to notice that, wow, I'm gonna have to go out there many of the times, put in a lot of effort just to get a few girls. I'm going to have to go out there many a times, talk to many a different women, and nothing may happen sometimes. But you do come to a position of actual power. You do go into a position of, you know what? I've been somewhere where I don't have choice, where I didn't have choice, but the fact that I made the choice that I will have choice, now things are going to start to come into my life. Now I can start to have the things that I want. 
Don't say that you want choice with women if you actually don't want to go out there and do the necessary thing for choice to come into your life. When you make the choice that you want choice, you have to understand that a series of things will happen. First of all, you will become more of you because you start to realize that I actually deserve choice. That choice was always there, but it was me that was blocking that. The second thing that happens is you start to see the realism of everything. Is that to have choice is not going to just be me going out there and talking to a few women. For me to actually have abundance of women in my life, <clears throat> it's going to require me going out there over and over and over and becoming more of myself. And as I become more of myself, I start attracting different types of women. So that means that not only do I have more choice, I start to have a different level of choice. I start to have a different type of choice. That starts to happen. And then of course you get to a moment where you go, there has always been choice. Now I have the choice to actually engage in this part of my life and make this part of my life as big as I want it to be, or I can engage in another part of my life. That's like the third level. And I would say that's the level I'm at, where you, you go through all the choice and you start to notice that, fuck, I have an unlimited amount of choice. Now I don't have to, so to speak, go out there and, and go at it and go at it and go at it. I can allow myself to put my energy into, into some other part of life because I've done enough in this part of life. I've went out there and I've experimented. I've allowed myself to come to that place or that truth okay, right, inside, inside, of, inside of myself that I have choice. I don't care what I do in life. I will always have the choice to go out there and find someone. And the moment that you go there, everything changes, man. Every, yeah, hey, move, man. Just move. Is that for me? All right, man, move, man. I'm doing a video, okay? All right, yeah. So <clears throat> as, you, as you allow that, you start to notice that that truth of choice is there. And that, as that truth of choice is there, everything in your life changes. It really does. And as that changes, your whole life comes to peace around women. And as that peace settles in for you, your whole life after that, it's just, who do I want? Oh, I can go try this girl. Maybe she doesn't like me, that's cool. But I'll go try someone else. You're not coming from a place of need. You're actually coming from a place of, this is what I want to do because I like this girl. And you have the peace inside of yourself to know that, yeah, it may not go anywhere, but I'm okay with that. So where do I want you guys to go from this video? Where do I want you to go for it? I would like for you to go into, why do I want choice? Why do I actually want it? Because do I want it because I feel like I'm unhappy and I'm in pain? Do I want it because of that? Because understand if you're coming from that place of like that, then I don't care how much choice you do come to, then you'll, you'll always be feeling on the inside that there's something wrong still. There's guys out there who've had sex with many different types of girls, hundreds, and they still feel on the inside that they're working toward moving, removing the pain that's inside of them. And that's not the way to remove it. So why are you doing this? Are you coming at it from a clear place? Which is, I am just interested in having beautiful women in my life. I've always been interested, but I've just been scared and I haven't known the way to get that. Great, that's a place to come from that's clear and that's healthy because that is actually coming from a place of curiosity. That's coming from a place of, I don't know, but I want to start knowing. It's coming from that place. That is the healthy place that you can come from when you want to go into, what does this abundance mean? What does it mean to have abundance of feminine energy in my life? What does it mean to have abundance of women in my life? And understanding what they're about. There's a difference of these places that men come from. So I would say for you, for somebody who wants abundance, come from a different place. Allow yourself to start off from a healthy place. Start off from a place that's good. And as you do that, what you'll notice is the track is very different for you. I started off my track from a very healthy place. Sometimes unhealthy, but it was from a healthy place of I want to bring the women in my life that I want to bring in my life. I want to have the choice that I want to have. Yeah, right now it seems far away. It seems like, yes, there's certain women out there that I don't feel worthy of. Yes, I feel that right now. I do definitely feel that. I feel like I'm scared right now to go talk to certain women. I do feel that. But I also want to learn what is this process like. 
And the moment that I allow myself to go, the moment that I did allow myself to go out there with that curiosity, my journey started to unfold very differently. It wasn't this journey of going out there and being like, whoa, fucking all these tricks. But it definitely was fucking many girls, but it was from a very different standpoint. It was from the standpoint of, I actually really want to know. I want to know what it's like for a woman when she's in the bedroom and she says, uh, this is too fast. I want to know what that's like for her. Specifically, I'm curious about that. I want to know what it's like when I walk up to a girl and she feels freaked out, but then over time she becomes settled in front of me. I want to know what that's like. Because many times I failed in those, in those times. It comes from a place of true curiosity about women, true curiosity about love, true curiosity about sex and relationships. And as you come from this place of true curiosity and you go, I want choice in my life, that choice that you're gonna get into your life, those women who step into your experience as you walk the journey, are gonna give you lessons along the way. And as they, and as they give you these lessons along the way, whether it be big lessons or small lessons, it all is worth it. And that's what you want. You want a journey that's worth it, not a journey that comes from, I'm just doing this thing so I can get away from pain. But you're actually healing as you're going along the journey. You're actually healing your relationship to the feminine. Not trying to get power over the feminine in the feminine in any kind of way. You guys have to forgive me because I haven't eaten anything and I'm uh, a little bit off right now because I need to go eat. But I love you guys and I really want you to get the life that you want. And if you feel like, you know what, Tony, this is something that I want and you want to start off, I would like for you to, close to the, go to the description box, click my link that's there. That link is a free program that I've made for you guys. Totally meet to bedroom, being able to let you guys know every step along the way how to do the process. And that process sometimes can be very foggy for somebody that's just starting out or somebody who's not getting results but I break it down for you every step along the way for you to be able to start this journey the right way. Or from where you are, be able to skyrocket your results. As I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want. In life and in relation to women, it's just realizing it. And until next video, I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new, and it's also something new that I wanna give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you wanna say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.